Hi. It's me, Anushka. How are you doing? I'm just getting to the point where I just don't even know how to start my videos anymore. I don't like the theme of like saying the same phrase over and over again. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you're doing really well. Welcome to my week of reviews. I've decided to just do a whole week where I review products. I mean, I haven't done it in a very long time. I mean, I've done a few actually recently, but before I used to do so many reviews. Um, I've got a lot of foundations. They're all drugstore actually. I've got so much stuff to um you know review that are drugstore and you know there's so many foundations that are concealers that have come out in new shades and so i thought why not you know do this whole week of reviews it's gonna be fun and yeah but anyways uh before we jump onto the video i'm gonna do my post notification shout out and today's one goes to ramijan anishta thank you so much for your comment well today we're gonna be reviewing some revlon stuff i have not i've barely used any revlon stuff apart from the color stay foundation Oh my god, I did a review of that ages ago. But they have recently come out with the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation. And this looks so cool. It looks so cool. This is $12.99. It says, get selfie ready with our new flawless finish foundation with built-in blender so you have a perfect a perfected makeup look anytime anywhere our innovative formula works with your skin type to even and smooth skin tone to leave you fresh faced with a natural finish so it's medium buildable coverage all day wear which we will test out today and high definition filter technology captures and transform any light to blur and soften floors leaving to perfect leaving the perfect app filtered look does say shake well before use and twist the base to di dispense the product. I'll show you guys a close up in a bit. Okay, so I just brought you a bit closer, but just um, the foundation itself, it's really big and bulky and it comes with this weird sponge, which I'm a bit skeptical about, but we're gonna try it anyways. And yeah, it, you just literally twist it up and the product comes out. I got the shade 400 caramel, which I think is the right color for me, but we'll see. So yeah, let's just go on. I've already twisted out the product. I guess I'm just gonna put it on. That's a good color. So the applicator is not the softest, but it's not the hardest uh, that I've tried out there. So it does say medium buildable coverage. actually quite fun to put the foundation on and I'm quite pleased with the colour I'm gonna see if I can put a bit more around my mouth area to see if I can make I can make it a bit more even. Okay, it's definitely buildable because I can see it covering some blemishes, which you probably won't be able to see on camera. Don't forget, guys, I don't have perfect skin. I mean, I'm lucky to have you know like clear kind of you know even skin, but I still have these like little imperfections that is weird only I would see. Okay, so here's a little close-up of the foundation itself, and I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with the colour. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really surprised about the sponge too. Um, it's obviously not full coverage, but I'm happy with this. It's very lightweight. I'm actually quite surprised, and I'm very surprised at the colour. Like, the sh I have to get into the shade range, but it's not the perfect one, but... I happen to have my shade, you know. Okay, so I do have a Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara. I've never tried their mascaras before, but I have been very intrigued by these since they came out a while back. I don't know, I feel like I would really like this mascara. Like, the brush is nice and it's extra black. Like, that's a good black. It's not like that really grey black, you know? I'm like the most pickiest person when it comes to mascara, like I'm so 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 picky. Okay, I'm really sorry guys but I don't like this mascara, I don't, it's not working for me, I'm probably going to give that to my mum because it's just not gripping onto anything and like no product is going on, so I'm just going to put some of my Maybelline one. 
Alright, so that's a bit better for me. I've also got one of their lippies, but I'm first going to put some, putting some brown lip liner. I don't know if I, this is going to go with my whole look, but it's okay. We're going to try it anyways. I've got the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour in Seduction. Again, this is another Revlon product that I've always wanted to try. It's very, very creamy. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I definitely have to say I'm pleased with the foundation. It's more of like a, definitely a medium foundation, not your full coverage one. If you have like blemishes and things, it won't cover it completely, but you know, just overall even out your complexion. I'm very, I'm very happy with the shade, like literally it's my skin color. Um, is it worth the 12 pounds? Is it 12.99? It's actually 12.99. I feel like Revlon makeup is a bit overpriced, a little bit, I do feel like that. Um, especially like their concealers and sometimes their mascaras, like this mascara is, I'm sorry but I did not like it, it's not, that is not a good mascara and I will keep it real with you guys. It's a shame but you know, it's just not working for me, it's just not, it's just not gripping whatsoever. Yeah, I'm really happy with this, I like the lip colour, I really do. And it's very creamy, comfortable, it's not sticky. And it smells really nice too. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with the foundation. Like, I look like I have a full glam, but I don't because the foundation is just, it's not f full, full coverage than I'm used to. But, you know, it's enough for my skin, I think. And also, f in terms of skin type, I think this would be good for any skin type because it's not too drying, but it's not too dewy. It's kind of like in the middle. I'm not wearing any highlight, but it, yeah, I don't know. It works really well. It's so good. And the whole concept of it is so cool. The sponge, I was very surprised. You can actually like blend your makeup, but it's not the soft. Don't, don't think that it's gonna be like a beauty blender on top of that, no. But you know, it's surprisingly softer than your, you know, drugstore sponges that we have out there. Especially when products come with sponges like that. Normally they're like, they're rock hard, but this one is, you know, it's okay. Anyways, it's now 9.56. I'll be back later on to see how this is holding up. And yeah, uh, my, my hair is slightly messy. All right guys, so it's now 5.20. Um, so how long have I had this foundation? I think around six or seven hours, which is, you know, usual time when I keep a foundation on. My lipstick's gone. Like there's nothing left. I'm not surprised that the lipstick is gone is because it is it was more of like a creamy formula. Um oh my god, my eyebrow. What the hell? I'm very surprised. I I love this. I love this product. Like this, I definitely see myself using this. I had I didn't have high hopes for this, like honestly, but it worked really, really good. I'm so surprised. Like I have some, like, a little bit of smile lines, but, you know, nothing big. Like, it's very minimal. Yeah, my foundation has faded up, off a little bit here and on my nose, which I'll show you guys a close-up in a bit. My nose is a bit dry, to be honest. Like, my skin's more on the dry side at the moment. Um, but, yeah, I really, really do like the finish of it, how it's just, it just looks really natural. Here's a little close-up. Like, I've got a little bit of smile lines. I faded it off a little bit on my chin and on my nose and it's a little bit dry too. What the hell? Did I have powder on all day? Hmm. No, it's actually fine. The shade range is not that great. Like they, I don't even know how many they have. Wait, let me check. They have 12 shades, guys. I don't know, 12 shades. Revlon. Can you see my face? If Revlon's watching this video, can you please extend your shade range? Because you have a good color stay range, so why is it, what is this? Maybe it's because it's like more of like a... But it says foundation on it. If it says foundation, 12 is not good enough. I'm like the third last darkest shade. There's two darker ones above me and that is not acceptable. I am nowhere near like the darkest shade out there. 
and it's not even like the shades there's different tones as well and there should be that option and i know it's a drugstore foundation but there's so many other brands that are doing so much better when it comes to shade range so 12 is unacceptable for me so that's why i'm not gonna give it a 10 or a 9 out of 10 8 out of 10 because the product itself is really good i barely got any smile lines i mean i still look like i just put the foundation on you know so yeah those are my thoughts on the foundation i think it's suitable for all skin types it's definitely medium coverage you can build it up but you know not that much of a difference um all day wear i mean it's still pretty good so i agree with that and yeah i do like the kind of like it does say it has like this softening blurring effect you know to imitate insta filter kind of thing but yeah it really does soften like my skin like it looks nice and it's very natural like it looks effortless so yeah i do kind of i do agree with the claims it's a really good product so if you can find your shade guys i definitely recommend it especially if you're like going to work school things like that it's more on the natural side so yeah i'm really glad i have this in my collection now i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're looking forward to my other reviews this week make sure to give this video a thumbs up i have a lot of foundations and concealers maybe skincare i don't know we'll see um so yeah make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for those i love you guys so much and i will see you in my and i will see you in my next video bye